One of the fundamental principles of policing in the United Kingdom is that we police with the consent of the public. This is something we should all cherish and fight to maintain, whatever the challenges the UK faces. It has never been a more important principle than it is today. Or to get the army on the streets. No, we, the way we police in the, UK, in the UK, the way we police is by consent. We want police able to work with their, their communities to ensure that they can deal with the disorder that is taking place, which, as I say, is totally unacceptable. So remember, if you haven't broken any laws, no one has the right to tell you what to do. We are all equal in the eyes of the law, from the Queen to the police and to you or I. And we are all innocent until proven guilty. So if a policeman stops you in the street and you haven't broken any laws, do not comply. Always ask, am I detained? Or am I free to go? Do not give your details and ask if you're obliged to. If they do try to search you or arrest you without your consent, tell them you are doing this under duress. If you have not broken the law, do not comply. Only interact with the police if you wish to. If you do not wish to, do not consent. The more of us that do not comply, the less likely this country will become like Nazi Germany or communist China. The police swear an oath to the Queen, so ask them if they are under their oath. If they reply yes, they are bound by said oath and can only uphold common law. This is uh, certainly the most updated. Uh, when I joined, it was slightly differently worded to this, but this is probably the most updated. And it starts with I, you state your name, of, you state whichever police force you are serving. Do solemnly and sincerely declare and affirm that I will well and truly serve the Queen in the office of constable with fairness, integrity, diligence and impartiality, upholding fundamental human rights and according equal respect to all people and that I will, to the best of my power, cause the peace to be kept and preserved and prevent all offences against people and property, and that while I continue to hold the said office, I will, to the best of my skill and knowledge, discharge all the duties thereof faithfully according to law. That is the oath and attestation of a police constable. If you ask a policeman to say, are you on your oath, uh, very often they change their you know, they actually realise what you're talking about and they change their behaviour because their oath was to uphold the common law of the land and not the statutes, not the law of the sea, which is the law of commerce. Because we realise that everything now is to do with commerce. You know, with the policemen stop us, you know, you're not wearing a seatbelt. Well, who, who am I causing harm to? Where's the loss or damage? It, it, it's crazy. And so they say, oh no, you're breaking the law. Well. I'm just breaking a rule, but what, why? What authority do they have over us? I haven't given them my authority. The oath that every police officer is to, to preserve the property, life and subjects of, of the Queen. Now that to me is people, property, disturbances, breach of the peace. That's how I understand the, the officer constable to be now. It's basically an oath is a promise. I promise to enforce the law. I promise to, to serve Her Majesty's subjects, I promise to prevent them as, as much as I can, prevent them from being harmed, to prevent their property from being destroyed. That to me is the oath of a constable. Police take an oath when they join the service. Um, again, they don't really understand what that means. It's not explained in any details. It's kind of a grey area. You just take it to mean whatever you want it to mean. But it's all been set up to allow um, the system that currently enslaves people to carry on enslaving and to further that enslavement into every aspect of our lives. Statutes and acts, um, the consent of the people, those are the people that are there to govern, has not been obtained. Um, and so, you know, it's, it's frowned upon, it's very much a grey area and um, police are being used to enforce statutes and acts um, of, the, of the legal system and are not really understanding what that means and, and what, it, what it means as a police officer to police. I believe that laws, uh, Black's Law Dictionary states that a statute is a legislative rule of a society given the force of law by those who consent. So a statute isn't, it doesn't actually say a statute is a law, 
it is, says it's a legislative rule of a society given the force of law, but only by those who consent to being in that society or consent to the fact that, uh, consent to the law. So if you say to a policeman when they stop you, I'm sorry, I do not consent, uh, I do not understand, that is, I do not stand under you, then, you know, you can step away from that. But it's important that you uphold the actual natural law. And of course, the policeman uh, and magistrates and uh, also the Queen, they all uh, state oaths to the law of the land. So you can ask an officer if he's actually, are you on, on your oath? So it, it, it's important that, uh, you know, we can actually get them on their oath because they, they don't swear an oath to uphold the law of the sea or statutes. They swear an oath to uphold the law of the land.